lagi Cukulah kau dapat teori Burung kaya kapak pergi dulu Five, four, three Do you believe me now? If I told you that I caught up in a way That's all I know of that song, but it's a great It's from Maggie Maggie What's her name? Maggie Roger She's the greatest What a wonderful talent What a wonderful life What a beautiful energy in this room I'm Bob mm. And I'm great You know what? I look in the mirror and I say to myself You're great, Bob Because, you know, I, I, you know, I, I always walk around with a lot of shame And a lot of negativity and sadness I'm trying to poly shore it up, man. I, I need to point out one thing, though. Uh-oh. I think that George has backhandedly, in a subtle way, tried to make you less kingly by taking this picture, which <laughs> okay, was well. twice as big, shrinking it, and putting it in a less opulent gold frame. Yeah. I think he's trying to take you down a notch. But what you don't know is is that that bigger photo that was up there, yeah. he jerks off to every night. Yeah, and that's what makes it kingly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's what he, makes it he, he thinks, he <laughs> looks at my ass when I walk in here. George. Huh? Come on, man. That's why you, you're marrying an Asian. Yeah. It's the closest thing to you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you you want to fuck me in the ass, huh? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Female body. Yeah, she's going to love Except that when she hears really that. really educated. If we were in prison, you know what you would do? You would, I would be sleeping on my belly. Yeah, I'd be sleeping on my belly, and he would not only, like, he would pin me down, but he would squeeze my bat butt cheeks together to make yeah. my asshole even tighter. I could see that. Right, and he, would, and he would just, like, and I'd just be like, no. Hang on, I have also another question. <laughs> yeah. How are you that confident in prison to sleep on your belly? Well, I you know I already have my. Prison. I would put my asshole to the wall at all times. Yeah. At all times. No, no, I have my because I already know I'm going to be fucked there. Look at me. Yeah. I can't I have no defense mechanisms. <laughs> I have a nice butt. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I already know that I'm going to be like the town whore. Yeah, you're top notch. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm going to be a gigantic wet cave. <laughs> my butthole will look like a wet cave. Yeah. And dudes will be like, "You been there?" Everyone's like, "Yeah, we've been in that cave." Right? And it's just going to be just juice. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> Moving on, George. George. Oh, God. Um, we have, I want to introduce everyone in the room. Um, we've got, you know, it's people say, people say to me on online and people say that I shame people in the room. I'm a bully. Right? But I call it, I tell it how it is. And I'm going to say this. I'm not a bully. I, I, you know, I'm, I was bullied growing up and I'm a sensitive guy. But you know what? I have to tell it how it is. You know what I mean? We got big face John Na here with his big ass gooky head. Woo-hoo. Right? And we've got even a bigger face right here. It's like a canvas. Rawr. <laughs> that's not. Oh, that's okay. Not, I don't know. I just did a jungle, I'm doing jungle sounds. Well, oh. Jungle sound. <laughs> so you better have a sound for yourself. Uh, 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 I hope uh, you have hey, a sound. Yeah. I got my big head. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. We got fucking. Okay. My girlfriend's face is yeah. like. I have a king size bed, and her face just fits the fucking bed. I contoured today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got George. He's a regular white guy. <laughs> My girlfriend Kalana, and then we have a, a, a very. She's a she. We have a guest, and um, she's a DJ. She's written three books. How many books have you? Don't say anything. Um, <laughs> in her earlier life, he did. A, she did a, other things. Um, we may 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 or not talk about it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? May or may not. Yeah, yeah, because we're a Christian podcast and we believe in the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. How about a not? It's funny because um, I saw her once at um, David Cho's, one of his like um, picnics. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. You I, were there. But with she me. didn't say hi to me and she didn't look I said hi to her. Yeah, but Whoa. she was so fucking rude to me. Like, I was nothing. <laughs> that was, you knew what you were doing. <laughs> you knew what you were doing and I, we want to talk about this. Sasha Gray, give her a round of applause. Woo! You can talk now, Sasha. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you, did you see me at that David Cho party? I did, yes. Yeah, how come you didn't say hi? Every time I went to say hi, you were in a conversation, and then every time I went to go back, I, <laughs> vice versa. Yeah? It just never happened. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was one of those situations where there's too many people, and I don't know you. Like, we have the same friends. Yeah. So when there's that many people in a room, mm. so, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. awkward moment. It's a fucking picnic! And I figured... Oh, sorry for me. Why am I yelling? Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. I'll see you good. again, probably. Oh, that's yeah. true. I, I, if it's meant to be. That's true. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. I just yelled at you. It's I'm all good. So sorry. It's all good. It's all good. Um, we'll move. We'll move past. But that. you are that person at the party though, where you cannot sit in one spot for two seconds. 
so you like to uh, just ping around because you're uncomfortable. Mm. I'm this. Yeah. I'm the person in the party who holds on to the paper plate a little too long because I don't know what to do with my hands. Mm -hmm. So it's an empty paper plate, mm -hmm. oh, and I just that. walk around aimlessly and I hang on to it for two hours <laughs> yeah. until the party's over. And yeah. I bring it in the car on my way home. Wow. That's... I'm like, why do I have a paper plate? That's how socially awkward I am. Yeah, but you know. Um, <laughs> But still in a pic. I just kept eating too. Yeah. Yeah, or keep your mouth. The food was. Yeah, f full of food. That's one way. Yeah, because I've always, I've always, I've been aware of you um, for for many, many years. Um, you know, I, you seem like a very nice person. Oh, thank you. We're also friends with the same kinds of pe people. Yeah, yeah. Artists and whatnot. Yeah. You know, so um, w I because but I didn't you know when I don't know somebody that well, Sasha, <clears throat> I need to ask questions. If that's okay. In real life? No, no. no, no. <laughs> In his head. Or no, right now. fucking now. <laughs> right, I mean, why am I so, I'm so aggro today, huh? Yeah. yeah. I should yeah. namaste a little bit. It's the weather. Yeah. It's um, raining, LA. It's weather. Corona, it's the, we it's the weather. The anxiety. Yeah. yeah, the anxiety. Doomsday panic. Let's just yeah. do a, a breathing exercise, maybe. Yeah, lead us through it. Yeah, yeah. not a toilet <gasps> paper, that's it. <sighs> what do you mean the toilet paper? Well, it's a toilet paper apocalypse. Everyone doesn't want to bare hand their own shit, so everyone's buying oddly like too oh, much toilet, toilet paper. paper. Like one family That's a thing. bought yep. like 48 years worth of toilet paper by accident. How's that even possible? Because instead of 48 um, rolls, they got like 48 giant boxes or something like that. And they only have one asshole. Exactly. Yeah, so the, what's the shared the, between yeah. a full family? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me ask you something, Sasha. This morning, uh, I just want to get your um, opinion about it. You've pooed before, right? I had a very healthy one this morning. <laughs> Good. Was it solid? It was solid. Good. Wow. But not like too solid where it hurt. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I ate good yesterday. You did. Just slide out. Yeah. So this morning, uh, last night I had um, French onion soup. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we laughing at that? I don't know. But I don't know. The, the delivery. Was, yeah, the delivery yeah, was yeah, delivery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had French onion <laughs> soup. What time? This is four in the morning. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. I had French onion soup four in the morning, and I, I made three croissants. That's, you know, and You I, actually made them? Well, no, they, they, Trader Joe's has a, a frozen oh, croissant, oh, so I baked okay. them. They take 45 minutes, put a little butter on the pan. And then um, the um, French onion soup, I just microwaved. Those mm. things don't really go together. It's like a breakfast and dinner. Mm -hmm. I understand that, but they're from the same region. <laughs> Right, Sasha? It's not like Touché. I had fucking sushi and hummus. You know what I mean? They're, t they're, they're the same ballpark of, sure. of food. That's what okay. I, that's what Papa likes to do. So last night at four in the morning, I, I ate, the, I jammed that in my mouth. And then this morning, I, I, this is how I woke up. Ooh. It hurt. No, I made that noise out of uh. my mouth. So I went to the bathroom and um, I left and I told Kalala, I go, don't go in there for a while. And then you would think that that would be enough. You think you would think that that would be end game. Would, that's uh, the discussion's done. What did you say? What do you mean? When I on the on the toilet seat. Well, you're smoking outside, and I knock through the glass window. I was like, you don't know how toilets work. <laughs> and that's what I asked because when I went to the bathroom, there was shit smeared on the toilet seat, and I couldn't understand uh. how that was humanly possible. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how? I don't fucking but, know how he did that. It was like uh, like performance art. Oh, that's a G.G. Uh, Allen. G.G. <laughs> <laughs> Allen style. G.G. Yeah. Allen. I wasn't doing performance art. That's a good reference, G.G. Allen. Uh, love that guy. But, um, but you know, it's like I already told – anyway, it's shaming. And then and – then, Hold on. Uh, <laughs> but, go ahead. Sasha, how, you have a boyfriend? How, how does this happen? Exactly. That, that's, that's what – I was trying to find out, and he didn't have answers. For like, me. do you ever work in restaurants or fast food places? I have in my and, early yeah, days. and I never yeah, like you ever had to clean the toilets, and you would wonder how how oh, all yeah. the poo got everywhere that yeah, it did. <laughs> how is it, it, it possible? It was, yeah, it was Bobby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had a little D, and a lot, and you had a healthy poo this morning, right? I did. Yeah, mine was not so much. It so. just yeah, splattered. Yeah. yeah. Like, did you float off when it came? <laughs> oh, that's why. I'm no, no, no. I'm not a cartoon character. There was character. propulsion there. Yeah, yeah. If I did that, then there's that, lift off, babe. There was no lift off. No, but there was pain. And um, do you have a boyfriend? Crampy pain. Sasha, do you have a boyfriend? Yeah. And do you live together? That I will not discuss. Okay, good. Um, so, but has he ever put in your toilet? Yes. All right. 
and if you, it was a poo on, on, on the seat a little bit, would you say something or would you just? Absolutely. Oh fuck! All right. Oh yeah. Then it's my bad. I didn't know because that. I have a vagina too. Like you don't want that close to poo. Thank uh, you. It's not like if a little gets on your science. balls, you're gonna yeah. be fine. Did you think that the jury was gonna side with you on this? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Were you hoping she would clean it up for you? Because you were grossed out. Can you still argue for your case? <laughs> yeah, I'm, well, I'm curious. I want to. But then the then the, one of the dogs pooed in the living room. Uh huh. And then she blamed it on me. No, it was like sounds like a shit that, morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was a little nugget, and it was out of place. <laughs> it was yeah. out of place. My dogs are potty trained, so I just I assumed oh. it was. You just had. You just missed the toilet again. A little dribble. <laughs> okay, you know what that. That 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 that's sound, that argument sound. Yeah. Uh, my bad. Next time I won't. Uh, next time I have the D. I, I, after I'm done, I will look at the. I'm gonna. I'm trying to be mindful and I'm trying to make amends here. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry, to you. Next time I have the D. After I'm done, I'll turn around and look at the environment. The D is the diarrhea. Yes. <laughs> yes, Sasha. Very different. The D usually isn't it's diarrhea. Yeah, it's not usually- <laughs> I'll look at my. I'll turn around, look at my dick. Uh, <laughs> well, what's the D? Oh, D. dick. Yeah. Oh. You catch that D, babe. Daya then. Daya. I'll just say, you know. But Daya cheese is a vegan cheese, so. Well, uh, then give me a word. Like. Diarrhea. <laughs> I should just say diarrhea. It's not that much to say. Diarrhea. Ria. 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 Oh, that's good. Rhea. I had the Ria. Rihanna. I had the Ria. Rhea. I had the Rihanna to make it like you know poppy. You know what I mean? So I had the Rihanna. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I yeah. would, I would, yeah, I'd say that's pretty racist because Rihanna is a black woman. So please do not, <laughs> Bobby. How about hold on. Bobby? Let's how go, dare you, Bobby? Let's go with Rhea Perlman. Rhea Perlman. Okay, yeah. taking it back. Mm-hmm. What's Dan? That's Dan and Devito's ex-wife. Yeah, and also Rhea uh, from Cheers. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, I'm just gonna call the Rihanna, and that's it's not racist. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm getting angry. Sorry. It's not racist. I'm just going to go. Anyway, the next time that I have the Rihanna, I'm going to look down and I will be mindful and I'll clean it. And then that's that. Okay. I apologize. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So let's get back to fucking Sasha. Okay. Yes. All right. <laughs> so Sasha, I didn't Google you. I didn't Wikipedia. I'm aware of that you're a DJ. You're in books. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? These are th- information that I already knew. You know what I mean? That I know that for a couple of years you did something else, right? We don't have to talk about it, but I have to say that uh, we can talk about it. Yeah. I know, I know, but I have to say though that um, uh, I have uh, masturbated to you. I was waiting for that. <laughs> <laughs> but this it's is gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. Conversation before, and so it's you know because we've had Asa ob- obviously on this podcast many times, hmm. and um, I for some reason. I knew Sasha, uh, not Sasha. I knew Asa when she was um sixteen or seventeen. What? Yeah, wow. before she Whoa. was a, she was a dom at the time, right? She, no, she wasn't. She even was before she was in high school. Flyers for a comedy club. Oh wow! So yeah. I was playing the Laugh Factory, yeah. and she and Jamie Masada goes, "Hey, buddy, you know you know Asa," and Asa was like the sixteen year old Japanese girl. She was, and we passed out flyers because no one bought tickets to my show. Mm-hmm. And we were on New York City, just like, you know, just passing out tickets. And then I just said to this young girl, I go, let's go on a roller, like, like a little roller coaster and mm-hmm. one of the things. So we did that and we, we had some candy. And then we Not became. Not creepy at all. <laughs> <laughs> I took this little girl to a roller coaster. We had some Give her candy. some candy. <laughs> <laughs> It sounds so bad. That is true. That sounds bad. That sounds bad. Yeah, but yeah, but not in a. It wasn't molesting candy. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was uh, friendship candy. It was friendship, friendship candy. candy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. Sometimes candy, you know, there's two types, yeah. right? Molesting, and then there's friendship ones. Yeah. yeah. So I gave her some really just Christian candy. friendship. Candy. It, I think it was just like the the, the candy corn. Okay, that you get yeah. at Thanksgiving. You know what I mean? Just very simple, and you know. Or the, the bracelet ones. Yeah, we Thanksgiving. Get yeah. Oh, yeah, Halloween. Is that candy corn? Oh yeah, th- yeah. Th- ha- Halloween. Halloween, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's the same. It's month. the same color. C- couple it's, months. It's not the same color month. scheme. It's not the same month. I don't know the holidays. You guys are ganging up on me. And, I definitely like, saw candy corn on Thanksgiving. So like people are like, this is the one that nobody wanted here. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Somebody eats it. I do like candy corn. I think it's good. I did when I was a kid. Yeah. I wouldn't I've touch never it today had though. Candy corn. What's it taste <gasps> like? Just pure sugar. Sugar. Okay. That's in the shape of corn. 
kernels. Mm-hmm. It kind of, I guess, bigger, bigger, yeah, bigger. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a flavorful no, candy, but sugar. I love sugar. Same. Thank you. I have a problem. So with with, I've never masturbated to also because of the fact that um, there's like a family dynamic, you know, uh, to that, okay. you know what I mean. But with you, I didn't know you, so I feverishly one time. <laughs> Feverishly. <laughs> yeah. Like, Interesting adjective. I'm sorry, babe. This is before I met you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You don't think that we've... I. You, she's not only for men, dumbass. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, I love it. Wait, you rub your jam jam? Of course, jam, Sasha jam. is a but, goddess. But feverishly? Yes, she, she is a goddess. She was the biggest thing. Yeah, she was. You were like the top person, <laughs> right? For, for a minute. For a minute, yeah. Yeah. But then you got out of the game. I did, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so let me ask you. So you, where were you born? That where were you where did you grow up? Like high school and all that kind of stuff. Sacramento. Oh, beautiful city. Super beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it's what a beautiful. They have a Jamba Juice there. Yeah, I yeah. went to that one. I remember. I I made. I I, I you didn't sucked, get robbed. I didn't get oh. robbed. Yeah. Okay. I also sucked on a seventy year old woman's titty. Oh, yes, that's in where Sacramento. Happened? Sacramento. Oh. Sacramento. She was yes. What? The, the grandma with the kids toys. Yeah, the grandkids yeah. So toys I sucked in the back. Double up titty. It was the no, best. you got to the- explain this one. <laughs> what? No, I, after a show, you know, a lady, an old lady goes, young man. She goes, <laughs> young man. How old were you? I must have been 38. Oh, how old? 36. Wait, where, where in Sacramento? The punchline? The punchline, yeah. Okay. Young man. <laughs> what a wonderful show, young man. And she shook my hand, you know what I mean? Like political style. So I shook it. I go, thank you, you know. And but there was a piece of paper in the hand. Oh. Oh shit. Slipped you her number. Right. So I looked at it, and I went to Kevin Christie, who was actually opening for me in Denver this weekend. And Kev, I go, oh, this, la- I go, this lady, you know what I mean? She, she gave me the number. That was hilarious. <laughs> he goes, you should call it. You should call it. Yeah. And I go, oh yeah. So that night, I tried to get her to come to my, you know what I mean, hotel room. I'm with my grandkids or something. Should have been a minivan, right? Yeah. And then the next day, she goes, let me pick you up. And it was a Bronco. Oh, Oh, she's a badass grandma Uh then. Was it white? It was a white Bronco. OJ Simpson style. Love it. Love it. And then she, um, we had dinner. And then at dinner, I go. Did she pay? No. I think I did. Oh, you did. I did. did, Because I'm a gentleman. Okay. And then she goes, you want to see my titties? (laughs) And I go, now? At dinner, I'm not kidding you. At dinner. And she goes, look. And she looked at him and she hadn't done. She was like one of those like. Hip. Hip, hot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like ladies, like in if she, in her 20s, I would never even get be able to get her. Yeah. Right? It's only at 60 I could get her. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, know play, I mean? you play I long, waited. I, long, yeah, long Long con. Yeah, long, yeah, long, yeah, long con. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so then we, um, she goes, she was driving me around Sacramento to show me, um, like, the landmarks. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, this is hay. You know what I mean? Or this is where they make... The landmarks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where this they is make... Hay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where they make, you know, lamp fixtures <laughs> at this factory. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is the almond factory. <laughs> is there an almond factory there? There is. Yeah. Ooh. Blue diamond, bitches. Oh. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Blue diamonds from Sac... Mm-hmm. That's something to be proud of. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so then, um, and then it just sucked on her titties. And but it was weird because I we had parked on the side of the street, and she um had her grandkids' toys all over the all over the Bronco. So oh, I had like I remember adjusting and <laughs> what that's sort of happening. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? It wasn't a grandma. It was a, it was a girl with a child though. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Um, so then you grew up in SAC. Wait, went... hold on. I want to hear that story. Wait, so how did it No, I will look into that Did you story. guys, did you, it was just the sucking on the titties? Or... Yeah, I would have had, sec- I would have had, um, sexual intercourse with her, but, um, I had to do two shows, so. I... <laughs> That's ever stopped a man before. I mean, no, it was like, like my show was at seven and I was sucking old titties at 6.30. Oh, okay. Uh, it was a time, real time crunch. Yeah, so I was fe- like doing it quick because like I wanted to get it all in. No rain check? Why oh, then I call, I think I called her that night and then, Ooh. and then she brought the Sunday show, she brought her Grandson? youngest son. Oh, wow. Oh. oh. Yeah, she has a young son that's like 16 or 17. Bad move, that's, that's the, yeah. To the, to the, before the show and then we took photos. And he was a huge Mad TV fan, 
So then a- after that, I was like, this is becoming <clears throat> kind of weird. Too familiar. You're a family now. Yeah, I didn't want to be. I didn't also. I don't think I wanted him to be my, um, you know, I mean, son. Oh, I see. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because like, yeah, stepson. Yeah, yeah, things you know went further. Hello, we're going to take a quick break to share an amazing sponsor with you. <laughs> Ship station. Uh, uh, Ship station. Uh, Ship station, man. When you're selling online, getting your orders can be a real pain in your ass. How do you keep track of who gets that or what or whatever? Mm -hmm. Which shipping carrier should you you be using? Mm -hmm. Are you getting the best rates, baby? I hope. That's why you need ShipStation.com. It's the fastest, easiest, and most affordable way to manage and ship your orders. Just a few clicks and you'll be managing your orders, printing out labels, and getting your product out fast to keep your customers happy. ShipStation makes it it easy. No matter where you're selling, whether it's Amazon, Etsy, or your own website, ShipStation brings all of your orders into one simple interface, making them really easy to manage from any device, even your cell phone. ShipStation works with all the major carriers, including USPS, FedEx, UPS, and even Amazon Fulfillment, so you can compare and choose the best shipping solution for you and your customer. They even offer big discounts on shipping costs. Now, now any business can access the same postage discounts that are usually reserved for large Fortune 500 companies. Fuck them. You'll always know what you're getting for the best deals. And right now, Tiger Belly listeners can try ShipStation free for 60 days when you use the offer code BELLY. That's absolutely no risk. You can start your free trial without even entering your credit card info. Just visit ShipStation.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in BELLY. That's ShipStation.com, then enter the code BELLY. ShipStation.com. Make ship happen. Brooklyn in. Brooklyn in. Brooklyn in is the only linen that you that's used in this magical castle that I live with my beautiful girlfriend Kalila. Mm-hmm. It is the sheets that we use. It is the thing that the bathroom um, rugs we use. It's everything we use. The um, you know the what do you call those things that we put over our bodies after we shower? Towels. Brooklinen was the first direct-to-consumer bedding company. They work directly with manufacturers and directly with customers. No middlemen, just a great product and service. All luxury products without the luxury markup. Mm-hmm. They've moved beyond the bedroom to other to offer bathroom and life essentials as well. Like I was talking about earlier, towels, shower curtains, eye masks, robes, et cetera. Yeah. Gail, so tell us more about Brooklyn it. Brooklinen.com is the perfect place to start making small changes that make big differences. Brooklinen is so confident in their product that their sheets, comforters, loungewear, and towels come with a lifetime warranty. Go on, make yourself comfortable. Get 10% off your first order and free shipping when you use the promo code TIGER only at brooklinen.com. That's B-R-O-O-K-L-I-N-E-N.com, promo code TIGER. And hey, New Yorkers, if you're listening, you can get the internet's favorite sheets and more in real life. Visit Brooklinen's first store in Brooklyn at 127 Kent Avenue in Williamsburg. Brooklinen, everything you need to live your most comfortable life. Enjoy the rest of the show. So when you... When you you made love to an older lady in a car, she was actually not older. Okay, she was only a few years older than me. Right, at and the then time. she had toys. And <laughs> <laughs> she offers to drive, and I said, "Okay, <laughs> we're not going far. We're going like ten minutes. I can come back and get my car, and I get in the car, and as you do in a stranger's car, I looked behind me, and there's a car seat and a bunch of toys everywhere. I was like, oh, <laughs> this is a little awkward.' Yeah." And then, but I mean, it's not going to stop me. It was just like, I don't know why that thought went in my head. Like, oh, you, like where's your kid then? Yeah. I think I asked her because I was a little wasted. I was like, but yeah, who's watching your kid? Well, maybe she's a uh, a nanny. No, no, she had a kid, and then she right. had a kid. Yeah. So then you went back to that back seat, and then you started <laughs> scissoring. What? No. I mean, <laughs> we did the scissoring outside of the car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Now, yeah. Did, when this happened, was it after por- porn or before? After. After. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, but I want to get to now to your early life. So then you went to high school. Did you get good grades? I did. Yeah. I was a good student. Wow. Straight Graduated eight. early. You did? Mm-hmm. College? I dropped out of college. Uh-huh. But then when did, how does, because I'm, because did you have like a mother, a good upbringing and whatnot? Not perfect. Yeah. yeah no, yeah. but, um. I mean, 
nobody not a cliche like this is what led you to porn by any means right um, yeah, yeah 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 but like let's say my parents divorced when i was five okay that's pretty normal normal um these days um yeah i got super good grades in school i was if anything i wasn't challenged enough Mm. that's for sure. I jumped around to like four different schools because I was so unsatisfied and nothing was challenging enough. Mm. And then finally my senior year, I was already on track. I almost graduated two years early. And wow. then I kind of fucked off because I started having a crisis. Like what? None of this means anything mm. because I had just focused my whole life on getting good grades. And the idea is like, you're going to graduate and you're going to go to college. And then I looked at my older siblings, one of whom was in debt and couldn't even find a job with eighty thousand dollars in debt. You know what I mean? I yeah. was just like, "What? Why? <laughs> Why?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, and so I took, I just decided to take it easy for a while. I still ended up graduating early, put myself in homeschooling like the last six months of school, just because I was like, just, I'm so unsatisfied and so unchallenged. Uh. And then I kind of took that period of probably graduating in April or so until the end of the summer, beginning of fall. And I said, okay, I'll try college now. Mm. Like it wasn't, it didn't take me that long. I said, okay, I'll try it now. And then I decided to go. And then I just started having the same feelings (laughs) all over again. (laughs) Yeah. Like, okay, what what am I doing? It just felt like I was back in high school. It's young angst. It's young angst. Yeah, you question the environment around you. You question society. I I think that's the thing I never did. I mean, I did in some respects, but when it came to education, I didn't question anything. Ah, right. But then you started getting probably antsy in in, in college. And then, I mean, what did you, what was the solution? I mean, how did you... I first, as a joke, thought I was going to be a stripper. Uh, and then I was like, that's so against my personality. It's yeah. not who I am whatsoever. And I was watching a lot of porn at the time. And I was in a relationship where I was experimenting a lot. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, well, I want to try more. And the other person didn't. And the more what I thought about you, it, I said, okay. Mean, what do you mean try more? I always had really dark fantasies mm. that I felt guilty about because my I was brought up Catholic, so mm-hmm. go figure. And <laughs> it wasn't until I started having sex, which I was older compared to all of my friends, <clears throat> it wasn't until then where I, where I realized, like, oh, I shouldn't be ashamed. And I don't know why it took the physical act of experiencing yeah. it to kind of lift that weight off of me. And then I started realizing, okay, I want to try these sorts of things, but, like, what are my options other than creepy people off the internet. Mm. Porn. Yeah. Ah. Uh, because you don't know who you're meeting off of the of internet. Course. It could be anybody. In- yeah. You could be Luca Magnata from uh, Don't Fuck With Cats. Or- yeah. yeah. What is what is this? Oh. <laughs> if you haven't seen Don't yep. Fuck With Cats yet, um, brace yourself. But watch okay. it. Give it a watch. Go to Netflix. And then text us. Let well, yeah. me know what you think. Somebody just told me about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a documentary. It I is. Think, yeah. I think, yeah. I think it'll okay. boggle your mind. But there was a creature on there named Luca Magnata. Is that his name? Yeah. Yeah, and um, he's creature. Yeah, well, he's a human we, being. Yeah, we don't call him. But we don't call him. A, we, he's a piece of shit. Oh. But um, yeah. this piece of shit is a, the type to go online or on Craigslist and try to like solicit and pray. Shit. He's just praying. He's a pre- yeah, yeah, he's a he's a predator for sure. You know, but um. But how do you, like, do you call, who do you call, I don't, like, because uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to just say, I want to admit something to you, everyone in the room, is is that if I was a woman and I was hot, mm-hmm. 100% I would have done what Asa did mm-hmm. and what you did, you know what I mean? Because yeah, but the, the, the awesome part about someone like Sasha or Asa is that there's so much ownership of those thoughts and there's so yeah. much, there's, there's, it's, there's, it's like full agency of those actions, right? Mm-hmm. And that's what makes it, in a sense for me, even more compelling and attractive. Like when you know, when you, when you, for me especially, like the type of porn that I watch, if there's an elevated practice to it and I know that girl is smart and I know that girl has witty comebacks, there's so much more of an attraction coming yeah. from me versus the the cliche story of that you like the narrative that you like in porn is 
she's sitting on the audition um, chair begging <laughs> to be paid <laughs> to get fucked because she has a debt. Like, that's the narrative you like. Desperation. I'm the, the desperation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Desperation porn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. not, no, I'm going to make an argument. Defend yourself. Thank you, Gilbert. Do it. Yeah, you're, you're on my, Gabby, whatever your name is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, there, obviously my sexuality and what gets me off is very intricate and it's like a fine wine, you know? And sometimes, you know, let me say so this, you know, I know dudes that will go to, you know, you know, the Hamptons and, and open up a very expensive bottle of wine, but then they'll go to Brooklyn and go to a, uh, just a pub mm. and and chow down. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. my po I don't know the term, but my point <laughs> is, I don't think it's I don't think <laughs> drinking beer is chow down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know the term. Fuck it, let's do it. Yeah, yeah. But I just threw it up. But you chow down, right? Chow down. So it's like it depends on like in terms of what I'm into. Sometimes you know, it's with Sasha for some reason with your when you were because you were on a lot, right? It's a lot of these sites. On a lot? No, like, uh, no, like, if I go on on a site. Oh, I was all know? over the place. Yeah. Okay. So by the time that you did... Um... No, but I'm not done with <laughs> Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. My okay. point, can I just finish my fucking point? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're king. You know what I mean? So sometimes I like, you know, in the... Sometimes when I look at a woman's eyes, I want to see in porn, you know what I mean? Mom? Like, they're scared. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, they're, they made the wrong decision. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, in their eyes, I have to look at them going, what am I doing? You know what I mean? I shouldn't be doing here. I like that. You know, I know a dude, I can't say his name, that likes crack porn. Oh, oh yeah, that's crack porn confession. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Which is so dark yeah, it is. and so, like, gross. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I've never masturbated to that. <laughs> truth. The truth. Okay. I have and a lot of questions. But, but I'm not done yet with my point. point. Yeah. Chow down. Chow down. Let me chow, down. My chow down. All right, right. But then, like, you know, someone like, there are ones that you can tell that they're, they're, they're career-driven girls that are t smart, you know what I mean? And they, you know, they're sexually advanced. Those ones I will do as well. You know what I mean? As well, I'll... I, <laughs> well, with, thank with you, a, Bobby. With a <laughs> Sasha we'll Gray, a I'll have a, a cappuccino. A, right, a hot my, cappuccino. I, I'll pull out my fucking old timey pipe. Are you pipe. wearing a monocle? Yeah, I have a monocle, right? <laughs> a and top I'll put hat. A smoking jacket. Top right? hat, yeah. I'll put my Moriarty shoes. Your you know feathered what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Your I'll, feathered plume, babe. Yeah, yeah, my th feathered plume. I will, I'll, I'll put the fucking... Earl Grey, too, sometimes I use. Earl Grey tea, yeah. Yeah, and then I'll put the fireplace on, right? <laughs> and I'll take out my, yeah, I will, it will. And I'll take my fancy, you know, Talcum lube. powder? Talcum powder. <laughs> <lube>. <laughs> well, I, what I use is that stuff that you use when you play fucking pool. Pool, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, you take a, you take a cube yeah, yeah. on the tip of the I penis? I take the tip of the cube and I put it on the tip. <laughs> Right, right. I take that blue thing. Real and I put on my... dry experience. Right, 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 right. And I will put on, you know what I mean, a high definition Blu-ray. Wow. You know what I mean? And, and okay, I will go to, yeah. you know what I mean, this is the top yeah. of the line, right? Yeah. But sometimes I like to go in the mud as well. Yeah. So go no, ahead. I get that. Go ahead, babe. Wait, what if what? I'm done with my point. You Hold on, say we got to get back to how it all started for her. So by the time you were like, okay, I have these dark fantasies. I want to see, I, how does. Yeah, who do you call? <laughs> I, I Sorry. Know. No, but how did you? I mean, who do you? I mean, how do you, you call an agency? So I started. I started just making all these different lists and ideas of what I wanted to do, and then I contacted other girls that were in the industry. So I kind of had an idea of what I should expect to get paid and what companies to avoid, and then I started just going on different message boards mm -hmm. and sort of gathering the same information. So I had a list of people to avoid, 100%, and then a list of agencies. So I emailed four or five different agencies. Nobody, I think one maybe emailed me back. And then they were like hard to actually get on the phone. I, and this is 2006, so not everybody has smartphones. Mm -hmm. For me, if you can pick up the phone and call, that's a big deal. And... The first person who actually called me was the one agent that I ended up working with. And he called me and he goes, yeah, if you really look like this, <laughs> you're really down to do all these things, yeah. you're going to make it far. You got your own car? Yeah. <laughs> this is your phone you're calling from? Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. 
Wow, stare at the I would have hung so up the like, phone. That's fucking. Oh no, I was, was like, aggressive. Uh, yeah, 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 okay. Uh, so what I did, uh, I guess I, I did all of that like quasi research for six months or so, and then I ended up driving down to LA for a week to look for an apartment. <clears throat> and then in that time, I was hoping, oh, in this week I'll find an agent. How hard is it? And during that week, nobody called me. Only the one email. And actually on my way home back to Sacramento, I was driving home. That's when I got that phone call. Ah. Uh, so I was like, well, I'll be back in a week. I'm actually moving here. Wow. So, now, the f- what was the, do you remember the first scene you did? Yeah. Was it, Were you nervous? I was. And it was, it was that f- hurry up and wait feeling mm-hmm. of being uh. on a set, right? So it was also an orgy. Oh, whoa. So at first it's like, fuck, this is, this is it. And I had the entire day to change my mind, you know, because uh, we were waiting so, and I hated that wait, that, that period of having to wait. Um, And at first it's, it felt that that would be the most intimidating kind of scene to do, especially for your first scene. But then once I was actually in it and fucking, it was actually the best because I was working with one of the most respected directors in the industry and with all of the top talent. Wow. So being there, I felt like, okay, the pressure is actually not on me. Yeah. It's, and I can kind of ride on, <laughs> no pun intended. No, the pun was on, intense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. On, on the other people because they're more experienced. So I can just watch, observe, and see how it goes. And it actually ended up probably being a really great experience. And then my agent came on set at the end of the at that point night it was like it's all downhill from here kid <laughs> <laughs> wow that's funny like, all right okay. so basically it's like me being just a, a, a young actor and mm-hmm. getting like oceans 11 is my first thing <laughs> yeah yeah that's basically yeah. what's like oh there's yeah. brad pitt and matt did that's what your situation basically was. yeah yeah oh, wow rocco was the first oh i love guy. rocco <laughs> yeah. rocco yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah i love that guy yeah yeah so yeah quick. so um if I thread now, you since you're out of the business, if I could throw through some companies your way, can you tell me if you like them or not, or no? Like ones like like red light or... district. Are they good? Oh, <laughs> do they have good benefits? Yeah, yeah. Are there employees Devil's taking films, care of? Are they good? <laughs> uh, I don't know them. Uh, uh, did you work for Red Light District? Yeah. Do you like them? Yeah, they were cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like that company. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think in a different the, life, if comedy didn't work else? out for you, I feel like you would have been an agent of sorts for a porn uh, agent for adult. Um, oh, yeah. I would no, I would have my own production company. I would have, yeah. I would be like a Devil's Film or a. Um, I'm just kidding. You'd be like know. a Spiegler. Yeah, that was my yeah. agent. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would be like legit. You know what I mean? Number one, I would take care of my ladies. Yeah. You know I mean, I could be like a papa kind of a thing. Yeah. Right. Papa Productions. No, I'd hug a lot. I was like, "Are you okay? How are you feeling?" I don't know if you uh, hugging a lot is, you know. I don't pro. see that. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, what? "That's not yeah. industry standard." <laughs> well, no, not hugging in a pervy way. <laughs> there, Fuck you, no. Sasha. No, like. Is there like, candy corn again? Yeah, no, not candy. Candy. <laughs> I'll take my girl to a roller coaster. <laughs> no, it's like you know, I would go to like if I was an agent, like let's say I was your agent, Sasha, right? And after your first scene, you know what I mean? I would probably put my arm around you, wipe you down. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, I go take a shower first. Yeah. <laughs> then what is there to wipe down? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then wipe you down. And I'll put my arm around you, just very like father's daughter type, mm-hmm. and go, "How are you feeling, kiddo? <laughs> kiddo? <laughs> Want to get ice cream? You're like living out your old <laughs> J fantasy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, another I, thing I need to um, I ask would it, about. You know, I need your expertise on this. What is this fantasy? So, so lately, for the past couple of years, you know how he used to like, <laughs> like the, the he used shame. to like the yep. <laughs> the couch uh, auditions. Okay. Uh, high porn. Now he strictly just does old J. So decrepit, eighty year old, old, looking old, man. old J. Old. It's I thought comp- you said OJ. No. <laughs> I, yeah. like, I just OJ. like old J. Uh, Nicole Brownson some videos. And, uh, <laughs> that's how I off. <laughs> so he likes, um, yeah, really, really, really like um, geriatric looking men with eighteen year olds. That's okay. the combo that he's really into. Lately. Okay. And um, what are your thoughts on that? And do you think that he's just projecting his feelings? Future self. E- yeah. Does no? he think he's? 
I, I want to know what the 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 feeling is or the drive behind. That's really weird. I was actually <laughs> thinking about. Oh, I thought that was a laugh. <laughs> no, man, that's Sorry. <laughs> Not to make this about me, but I was thinking about a scene like that I did recently. Yeah. And I was reflecting on it. I was like, who watches this? <laughs> oh, oh, really? Or who watched that, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, Even, wait. So what? you did a scene with an old man? He wasn't geriatric, but he was pretty fucking old. How yeah. old was he? He had to have been in his mid 60s. Ah. Uh, but like not healthy, so he looked much older. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe even late 60s. And you that was one of the last scenes you did? No, no. Uh, it's like in the middle somewhere. In the middle but... somewhere. Now when you did that scene, was it uncomfortable working or no? Mm. No, I mean, no, yes and no. It was awkward in my brain it was awkward. Yeah. But I could say that there was like worse moments and worse experiences uh, when it came like as long as somebody was hygienic, uh, I could hang up my fucking feelings. Right, 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 right. Just I so think pop- that would be my big thing too, because yeah. I'm a real like clean freak. Like I, I yeah. breath is a really big yeah. thing for me, and um, I think as long as someone is fully clean, I could l- look past anything. Right. But can't you have a writer? Like, you know, sometimes when I go on the road, like, I have a writer. Like, I need Red Bull in the room. Right. right? I need three bottles of water, all, all these things. Can't you go, um, can the person be clean? Yeah. Can oh, I, 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 I left. Oh, what? Oh, I left. Like, there were scenes where I le- I would leave. Oh, you would? Yeah, yeah. W- wow. Like, this is not acceptable. Is that yeah. the yeah. conditions, right? Yeah. So, um, what is the worst one that you had? The worst experience is probably a girl. Really? Mm-hmm. And she was tilapia. Mm. What is, tilapia. What is tilapia. It's a mean? fish. Oh. Oh. oh my god! Yeah. I almost yeah. vomited. Funny enough, my my worst tilapia. experience as well. Why that specific fish? Are these stinky? It's my code word that I now yeah. use with all of my friends. Also, tilapia. <laughs> Filipino tilapia fish. doesn't have like the, the omega fatty acids it's, that you it, get from other fish, so it's not even a good price. It's like fish. a man. It's like the one they farm in those vats and they swim and eat their own shit. Yeah. Oh, tilapia! I'm writing Very that cheap down. Fish. Yeah. Tilapia, because in my game Stardew Valley, <laughs> right? He fishes tilapia. Tilapia oh. is the easiest fish to catch, which means there you probably go. bottom a bottom dweller. Hello, sleepers. We're gonna take a quick break to share some amazing sponsors with you. Better help for your mind. Better help for your mind. Better help for your heart. Better help for your soul. Mm. Better help, my friends, is something that I use personally. It, it changed my life. Um, you know, for many years I refused to see therapy because I thought my mind was brilliant and I thought it was healthy. But no, I have a lot of trauma. I have a lot of things I need to talk about. BetterHelp will access your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. And you can start communicating in under 24 hours. It is not a crisis line. It is not. It's not self-help. It is professional counseling done securely online. And even if you're in a mentally good space, keep your grass green. There is a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's counselor network, which may not be locally available in many areas. The service is available for clients worldwide. You can log in to your account anytime and send a message to your counselor. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as with traditional therapy. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so that you can make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. It's more affordable than traditional offline counseling, and financial aid is available. Tell us more about it, Gil. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. Visit their website and read their testimonials that are posted daily. Visit BetterHelp.com belly. That's better, H-E-L-P, and join the over 500,000 people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. Special offer for Tiger Belly listeners. Get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com belly. Enjoy the rest of the show. I met a young woman at a club, and she came to my hotel room. Mm-hmm. She spread open her legs, and it smelled like hot blood. Oh, like, what is hot blood? Like curdled, like, old? like curdled, like it was. Yes, old blood. It was like autopsy. Oh. It was, was like it was like a crime scene. Mm-hmm. She opened it up. I was like, oh fuck. 
So it was old. Yeah, you know, it was like old and and um, but she was young. It just smelled no, I mean, like blood was old. Yeah, blood the blood. Old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stale blood. blood. Stale <laughs> blood. It smelled like you know um, a crime scene, and I and I still did it because you know <laughs> because because you're a dude. No, 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 no. I think it's more because I didn't want to hurt her feelings. Right, so I went. Oh. I smelt it, and I I think she saw my face go. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Like I saw like the devil or something, right? <laughs> and went, oh, right, and I, then I went in because of, because of my you know, my my you know I have a good morality. And sure. How about that system. time when you flicked the poo? Did you oh, flick oh a poo my. off somebody? Dingle bear. Dingle no. Bear. Yeah. I, oh, I the girl this. who played the guitar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Of I don't course. want to say her name. <laughs> Of course, the girl, the, the hippies who play with the guitar, they, yeah. they always have dingle She was bears. a hippie with a guitar, and she was, like, singing all the time. And yeah. then, like, uh, we're, in La, we're in La Jolla, and it was during the day, and I was doing her doggy style. And she said, um, she turned around, and she goes, I just had a vision. And I go, what? And I'm still having sex with her. And she goes, um, I envisioned that you and I had a family. Oh, in the middle of fucking yeah and a baby and a white picket fence mm. and then I smelled something weird <laughs> right she was so relaxed <laughs> out of each other. <laughs> right. so I was like Came yeah out. and I, then I smelled something and I spread over her cheeks mm. and she had five hairs mm-hmm. Just, normal I know but normal. not but they weren't curled you know what I mean they were like Asian hair, just sticking out. Yeah, they were just like porcupine. You know, like you know, like if you see like a scary movie. Yeah. And the hair is on the back of your neck, but they were out of the butthole. Yeah, yeah. And they were sticking out of the butthole like this, like hi. You know what I mean? <laughs> like they were at a rave, and they were oh, like rave, waving their hands. Rave like, hairs. Yeah, 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 rave hairs. Yeah, yeah. And on the tip of one of them was a perfect ball of poo. Oh. Right, but it was little, but it was dangling from. Like the, how big? Like a piece of rice. Big or bigger? Uh, yeah. Candy or like a corn? peppercorn. Candy. Yeah, candy yeah, if corn. If you take a piece of rice and you put it into a ball, maybe two it's pieces of like a peppercorn. Like a yeah, peppercorn. Okay. That's a peppercorn. <laughs> wow. That's a good one. That's pretty small. Do you babe. use peppercorn? All the fucking- I food. love peppercorn. I got the too. pink ones. I got the green Ooh. ones. Fancy. I got the white ones. Fancy. Did you know and that- And the black ones. Poor kids who have like um, um, anxiety issues, they can't afford Prozac or any of the stuff, and they smell- Peppercorn is supposed to- E- ease your anxiety. Mm. So that. poor people use it, and I use it sometimes too. In fact, when you're high on marijuana, <laughs> and you sm- <laughs> on marijuana, <laughs> <laughs> when you're sm- smoking, you know what I mean? Pot, the, pot, the, the, <laughs> yeah, <Marijuana>. weeds, weeds, <laughs> right? <laughs> weeds, right? And and you have, um, they say when you have a panic attack, when you're just smell peppercorn. Whoa, yeah. So right. that's just FYI, that. yeah. Maybe that's why I have so many peppercorns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a delicious thing. So anyway, um, so she had a little, it looked like a jazz flower, you know what I mean? Just like a little ball at the end, right? And she, a, as soon as she says that, I go, I had a vision of going to CVS right now and getting toilet paper. <laughs> oh my God. Did you really her? say that? No, it was my head. I, oh, said, okay. I heard that said that. But instead you just flicked it? Yeah, I flicked it like that, right? Oh, and you see, touched I said, it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I said I fly around, I fly across the room, but you know what? I feel because I feel bad. You know, now that you say that, um, <laughs> now that you she was a nice girl, is what you're not only a nice girl, I did like her. Yeah. yeah, and then I remember she oh was it the first time you'd had sex? No, we had sex probably. Ten times. Well, you okay. didn't like. You couldn't have liked her that much because yeah. You, if, you if, if it's ten times in and you can't tell her she's got who is a on game butt, changer for me. You gotta. Mm. You don't like her that much if you can't yeah, exactly. Tell her. Poo yeah. the poo poo. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, if you like Sasha. someone a lot, you'd but eat you their flicked poo. it. Yeah, yeah I you flicked did. it because <laughs> I, I wanted out of my vision. <laughs> yeah, I would have been like, like <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> please. Yeah, yeah, so I flicked please. it, and then what? She had moved from a different city to be with me. Oh wow, That's Ooh, you can get past the nugget, That's right? Really and bad. and I remember driving her back, thinking to myself, "I'll never see her again." Ooh. And so I remember, like a year later, she showed up at a comedy club, and she just looked at me, and she looked. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I, that was so Freudian. Maybe I don't know. Mm. 
but you're, I, you're <laughs> living the moment. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she showed up at a comedy club. And, <laughs> and, 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 shit all over me. <laughs> and um, and um, I remember being very cold to her. I. This um, is why I know for sure you didn't like her, um, as much as you're, as maybe you thought, because you like poo. Your brother and you are yeah. obsessed with the smell of poo. In fact, can we talk about this? Ex- you know about the this. first time I met your brother, he came to my house <laughs> and <laughs> almost pooped on a friend of mine. <laughs> like wi- almost? willingly, willingly. I mean, yeah. whoa, 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 whoa! My brother, my brother Steve. Yes, your brother Steve. The good guy. The good guy. Right. Okay. My, the good guy brother. The good guy brother. <laughs> he. How did that happen? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Almost All right, because I think it's your fault. Go ahead. So I had my, <laughs> my friends were coming over. I had heard about him for a while because he was already hanging out with a bunch of mutual friends. And they're like, oh, we're with Stevie. Can we bring him? Yeah, of course. They show up. <laughs> and we're just like all sitting on the floor talking shit. The subject of shit comes up. <laughs> and we start talking about pooing on people like have you ever pooed on someone would you ever poo on would you get shit on and one of my friends volunteers to get shit on on my floor which is a bad <laughs> idea but I was like hey this is worth it like, <laughs> like, this really happens and she kept rolling around because she was so grossed out and he had his pants down and she would like Steve was she would lying. like roll in the other direction and she was laughing hysterically and I was like, don't move because he's going to shit on my carpet. So kept, okay, okay, okay. Oh and I think it continued for probably 20 or 30 minutes until oh he was my. like, I took a shit at Ralph's before I came here. Otherwise, <laughs> so I can't get it out. Oh, my God. There's such great shame in my family. Uh, I am so sorry. It was great. But they I, great memory. It's not normal behavior. <laughs> it's not normal this behavior. Is, this is why we probably get along, though. Yeah. You, least, you like my brother, Steve? Yeah. He's a good kid, huh? He's funny. Yeah, he's a funny little guy. Yeah. Yeah. Has he done, uh, have you done his podcast? I did, yeah. How many times? Once. Yeah. It's funny that you would do his before mine. But I didn't know. (laughs) I didn't even know you had a podcast yet. Okay, all right, Sasha. All right. So then when you're you're in this industry and then when did you get out? 2009. So you were in and out. You were just- Three years, yeah. Three years is such a short time. Yeah, I thought I was, I thought I was going to be a lifer. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But what was the reason? I mean, just, you're just done? So, so many things were playing out at the same time. But the first and foremost reason was that I felt like I had accomplished the things that I set out to do. And so the only, the next step naturally would be to create my own company Mm -hmm. and start doing things my own way. But I, the entire time I was in porn, I was doing other things. Um, I was making music. I was working on a photography book. I I'd shot two other films. Like there was all of these things happening in my life. Mm. And then I actually had started a company, and it failed. And it was the first. I would say the first major failure of my life. That Wait, really. What kind of company me. was it? A porn company. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Why? How did it? Why did it fail? Uh, bad. I went into business with somebody I shouldn't have. Ah. Uh. Um, and so I'd spent about, I don't know, six months, something like that. But I, let's say a whole year, because leading up to that, I was actively trying to put it together. And then from the time I actually did, and it all came crashing down, I had to make a decision, and I was sleeping three hours a night. Because I was working my ass off. Yeah. So for a good year, that that was my life. And I had to make the decision, do I want to start over from scratch? And this is only a year after the recession or within the same year. Um, people weren't shooting as much as it was. And parodies became a big thing. Yeah, I, hate I hate them. parodies. I, hate parodies. I fucking oh, hate them. They're the worst. They're yeah, so yeah. stupid. They're so stupid. 
And because they don't even put in the s- same amount of like CGI. Oh no, <laughs> that's what you're like, upset about. Yeah, yeah it's like <laughs> that's you, what you're. Upset. Yeah, yeah, you you watch the Avengers one, right? Like this is better. Yeah, it's really cool. I don't know what that is. If it's silk screen or what it is or a panel, but like this is cooler than a lot of the sets they would have in those parodies. Yeah, they would put like and would Spider Man would put but they put cotton. You know what I mean? Yeah, use cotton yeah. to you. You know what I mean? It's Halloween. Like, oh, fucking go to fucking ILM. Yeah. Put it's some the budget. screen in there. Get a budget. Yeah, I anyway, agree. I hate it. Parodies are the worst. Or the Cosby ones, or like the... Uh, oh, oh a that was Cosby a bad one? idea. Yeah. A there, was a Co- there was a Cosby. Yeah, there was. In fact, my friend, Thomas Ward. <laughs> I have a friend named Thomas give Ward. give his social security number yeah, while number? <laughs> Because he's a porn star. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I I was like a, he's the thought, one that's I thought, online. I thought, I thought maybe like a buddy. he was like a corporate. <laughs> or like a cousin. Yeah. I don't know. No, Thomas he's Ward. a known individual. Yeah, is okay. a stand-up. He used to, used to be a stand-up. Mm-hmm. I started with him. And he looks uh. kind of like Cosby. Mm-hmm. Right? He's a black guy. And then he disappeared from open mics. And I go, maybe he died. I don't know. You know what I mean? You know, and so then, he's not that much of a buddy. <laughs> I, I know. I, I mean. <laughs> you know him. <laughs> I know. But, but you know what I'm saying. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Somebody that I hung, I had maybe a couple of meals with them or whatever, yeah. right? Okay. At a hot dog stand or whatever. Uh, yeah, um, Bill Cosby loved hot dogs. Yeah, we yeah know you know that, right? But anyway, um, so then one night I was like, I watched the Cosby born. It, 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 he comes on and I go, what the fuck? And then I go, that's Thomas Ward. And then he pulls his dick out. It's like <laughs> fucking this big. And I remember trying to, in the computer, I was trying to shut it off. I go, no, no, no. You know what I mean? And I shut it off. And then, then I saw a lot of like, there was a phase where I liked, you know, black and white porn. Interracial. Interracial. Porn. No, no, no. I like old timey porn. <laughs> oh, oh. Like, you yeah, want yeah, yeah. Bad like film. Chaplin, like Chaplin. Chaplin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Subtitles. <laughs> you know, I like black men and white women and, or vice versa. You know what I mean? Um, and so he, I saw him in those two. You know what I mean? Very talented. He was a good comic, but very good porn star. <laughs> I have to say. All yeah. right. Anyway, so, did you do a biracial ones as well? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. <laughs> we get Asian father. Good. 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 Job, good. good. No, I don't only like one or two Asians though. Men. What do you mean? In porn. You only fuck two Asian men. Yeah, maybe. Who are the top male Asian? Now porn I don't stars know. Right now, I've been out of it. Yeah. And I, are there any? I, I, I don't, I don't even know really watch. There's no Asian man that you could like Ameri- eat. Like, um, like, like Korean American. Or... Yeah, you, you know, I mean, in Tokyo, obviously Japanese. Of but course, I watch those, those all the time. Pervy but... fuckers, but. Same. Yeah, yeah. But, but there's no, like, Asian American dude that I could look up to. There's no guy where, you know, because in martial arts, I'll say Bruce Lee, Jet Lee, whatever, you know, I mean, Jackie Chan, whatever. <laughs> but in American porn, like, and even in sketch, I paved a, a little way for Asians and. In sketch comedy in America, you know. Yeah. But there is no Asian man that we can look. That's up probably with. why you were really into um, interracial porn with black men because that was your, you know, the closest thing to the other thing. Yeah. Yeah. To yeah having yeah. outside of being white. Maybe right? that's it. Yeah, it's exactly it. No, it's the big dicks. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely the big dicks. <laughs> big dicks for sure. It's it's the big dick. I, I I don't know if these are real, but there were ones at one point where. It was white chicks that would go, I, you know, I'm kind of racist and I would never, I, I th- vowed to myself, I would never fuck a black guy. But then they do the scene. I don't know if it's you staged feel or not. I don't know if it's staged or not. But yeah. then when the dick enters the like racist white, you know, pussy, you know what I mean? It's probably staged, but you got to be a little racist if you're willing to say that on camera. That is true. That's, that's all I'm going to say. Right, right. Like when I was 19, somebody tried to tell me to say I was 18 on camera. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? No. I'm not saying I'm not. And we actually had an argument about it before. Oh, so you would never started. lie. No, I wouldn't say I would never lie. <laughs> like, no, oh, camera. my God. It's so big when it's not. But Oh, like, you know, right, right. Now, were you, were you ever in ones that we're gonna get off? Because I don't, because you, that, that's, you're so much. That's only a little bit of your life, and this I don't want to talk about it anymore. The porn, <laughs> okay, right? Okay, let's hop off. I want, the boat. No, I want, but I have one last. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, I forgot what you want. I was gonna kind of ask. Let's just get off of it. Because I'll tell you <laughs> why. It'll come back to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Because you Ew. know, I, because if you only did it for three fucking years, that's, right? Yeah. That's such a small chunk of your life. Yeah. And you've done so much more than that. Yeah. Right? So let's just get the fuck off of it. 
You know what I mean? Can we do that or no? We can try. Because when people probably bring it up all the time, and it, it probably drives you crazy. Uh, I wouldn't say it drives me crazy. There's actually a big part of me that I'm trying to f- actively find a way to take the things that I was passionate about and that I wanted to change within society's perceptions of female sexuality. Like, how can I continue that goal while not being in porn? Mm. At least from an outsider's perspective, you've done just that. Yeah. At least for someone like me, where you are multifaceted, you Mm. are, to me, when I look at you, Sasha Gray, you're an artist. Mm. You're somebody that did that for a short amount of time and you have parlayed that into so many other things like film and writing mm. books and you've exactly what you, you were describing is how I view you at least. But, uh, but I want to say this too is, is that it because I know Asa and obviously I've seen what she used to, does, right? She, it's acting. It's a performance. It's a performance. Yeah, it really exactly. is a performance yeah. because yeah. I know her, and when I see her stuff, sometimes I'll randomly, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Asa to me is yeah, one my, of the my, most yeah, but brilliant people I've ever. I know met. she's she's a family. She's family. She's, to me. So, she's like a, my, my sister. I love her so much. I think she's super talented. But my point is, is that it is if it's done well and you can rise in that business, mm. it's only because is you can perform and oh, you can yeah. act. And I when I. You now isn't what I've seen on the fucking thing. It's acting. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's crazy. I remembered what I wanted to ask you. And this oh, is the no. last oh, question. It did come back. Did you, it did come back. Yeah. You're right. Did you ever do any ones that they gave you like scripts? Like, you know, you, some, yeah. some of the, the, now those ones, do you prefer those ones? No. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Because they give you acting notes? That would be t- fucking frustrating to me. <laughs> yes. Do, would they really? Oh, yeah. And, and I'm very monotone. Yeah. Naturally. Yeah. And I remember, I won't say what it was, but I was like, <laughs> all right, I'm going to ham it up, right? So I was just hamming it up. Classic <laughs> yeah, comedian. Yeah, yeah. And and then the guy's like, the, the director is like, no, but, but say it like this. Say Line like readings? This. Yeah, say it. Say it like this instead. And I was like, so you want me to just speak how I normally speak? Yeah, be more natural. Yeah, 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 like this. And then when I finally saw the thing, I was like, oh, I seem so deadpan that it actually doesn't work at all. Uh, like, I'm never fucking listening to those guys again. But yeah, Oh, I see. Fair. So the director was a bad director. It's just, it's... No, what's... Look. You, yay, fucker. Stories don't belong in porn. <laughs> They do not belong in porn unless we're talking about doing some avant-garde shit. Like, right. just yeah, stop. I already. agree. It yeah. just doesn't fucking work. Unless it does. No, listen, if Sasha. If you fast forward. No, 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 Sasha. <laughs> it does, right? If you did it with, like, if honestly, if I said I would take you, let's suppose right now I had I was a multimillionaire and I wrote a really good script, a really good. Script with a real DP, you mean a real yes. like story? Yes. You know what I mean, mm-hmm. yes. and I go, you know what? We're we're gonna take you're gonna take six months of Meisner technique, right? <laughs> I'm being real, right? <laughs> no, you're gonna the, have this acting coach. This is yep. um, um, he's probably Russian. Or something. Ben Affleck's acting coach. <laughs> yeah. No, right? Um, what? Whatever. Ben Affleck's acting coach. Well, no, I would hire him, right? <laughs> and I would and I would I would fucking go and um, it would be like a real movie with a real script with real emotions. Right, with yeah. a real story, but that sex would be like a like porn. um that Gaspar Noé. It should it should movie. They should do it like that. But yes, that one movie, Love, right? Oh yeah, oh, Love was a lot. Yeah. yeah, I loved it. Yeah, and it was just it was similar to what you're mm-hmm. describing. Yeah. yeah, um um, Marilyn Brando did a movie called, called The Last Tango Last in Tango Paris, Paris. Right, yeah. not that it was like, you but you see, don't. What do you mean? You get the butter. You know you, you don't get the, you don't, don't. I know you don't get the butter, but imagine if you did get a little butter in there. I think I think it could be done, but the powers that be will never let it happen. Right, and who's that audience for? Exactly. Like who? Look, I've always said that. Me, the, <laughs> you. I, I know you're me. the audience. The, me, David, Joe. I could name maybe five. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like the cliche porn is 
let's say like the cliche male fantasy is porn and the cliche female fantasy is a romantic Hollywood comedy. Wow. I've kind of always said this. Yeah, right? so, yeah, like, yeah. They're both fake. Mm-hmm. Right. So are you going to blame romantic Hollywood comedies when your girlfriend expects all of these delusional things yeah. from you? Yeah. Uh, anyways, I've always said that. But I did an, another podcast a couple weeks ago where the woman is um, a photographer. She's been in the business her whole life, basically. And she was saying, now there are people doing more narrative structures in porn. So I haven't seen those things. So I can't speak on right. those necessarily. Yeah. yeah. But it doesn't sound like they're doing full on big budget movies. And that is the cool thing that like you have the ability because the technology is so much cheaper and actually of higher quality mm. today than it was even 10 years ago. Mm. So that I don't know. But why, why don't we produce something? <laughs> Yeah, you, what gonna, you, 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 put, no, you're not going to be in it. Just like, I'm not putting any money in. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll. I'll, 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 I'll get you I'll, distribution. I'll, 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 I'll get you distribution. Okay, des- no. What about this? Why don't we write a script I just for fun? Right, write, write a fucking. Yeah. All right, but like, all right give me. What's the log line? What are we thinking? Yeah. Well, why can't it be like a real? Eighty-year-old man with an ATM. I know where to go back to this. He's Korean. His yeah, name is Bobby so, Lee. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's it's at, 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 it's set in a hospice. Okay, <laughs> right. So you, you really? This is your latest fetish, really? Yeah, I I I I I, I, I There's a company called Old J. It's o um o l d j e dot com. I also sometimes go to Blue Pill Men. <laughs> <laughs> the blue pill men, right? And um, I I also go to Jurassic Cock. Mm, that's a good. <laughs> that doesn't sound old. That's a great yeah, one. Yeah. I go to Jurassic Cock, and um, but you know I haven't been watching porn because of my for ninety days I've been masturbating through um my memories mm. and my visuals because I I'm you know in fact I haven't ejaculated in eight days. Mazel? Mazel tough. Mazel. Why? Why is your face like that when you do that? I mean, eight days just doesn't seem like, you know. I mean, yeah, I'm proud of you. I mean, it's Eight days mazel. is an eternity when you're me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, you know? But why? Because I just think that, um, you know, when I was in, I went to an institution for my... <laughs> why are we laughing at this? <laughs> I don't know. Because he, he called it an institution, institution. and it was not... an institution. I had a mental breakdown to an institution, and I was in Arizona, and um, we were talking about... Um, my addictions, you know, and there's there's my main addictions, which is drugs and alcohol. Okay. But then there are like side ones that, um, which is right around that is pornography and sexual addiction, and then around that is you know video games and other things mm-hmm. to distract me from you know feeling and being in the moment and being present, you know. So um, I made a deal with the counselors that I wouldn't watch um pornography because it's um you know not in your case but what they were describing was is that i have my own trauma okay that i grew up with you know i was beat and all that kind of stuff and i have a lot of ptsd from it but they were explaining to me that a lot of people in the adult industry and also stroopers you know not all of them but um also come with their own trauma and some of their behaviors you know i mean is based on their traumatic childhood and whatnot. Now, I'm not saying you, or I'm not saying you, or uh, or Asa, and I, and he goes, it's it's not healthy, you know. And so I said, you know what? That seems to be clear to me, and I um, I'm trying to do a lot of things that aren't going to distract me from. And I, I, tr- trust me, I pl- I'm, I carry my Stardew I Valley, see. you know, what I mean, I everywhere I go, and I play it constantly. And I. When I'm playing it, I I understand what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. I understand why I'm playing it because I just don't want to feel and I don't want to be, you know, present. Mm. You know, and then sometimes I try to put it away and I meditate or whatever. But, you know, it's the thought that I'm trying to do these things. So, um, that's why I'm not watching uh, pornography as, as in the moment. Mm. What? How? <laughs> I mean, how often do you watch porn? I would do it every night. Uh, multiple times a day to the point where it rendered me absolutely um, useless as a partner. Oh, okay. 
Yeah. <laughs> She's like, okay, that's a problem. Didn't like the way you said that. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. get crazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. because I have a, I have a hard time accepting. Like, would you call it in that an addiction? Would you call that an addiction, or would you call that a form of OCD? You know what I mean? Like you're, like you said, you're filling. It sounds you like you're a filling a void. You, know, you, you do have You know what I mean? Point. Because in these eight days, how do you feel? Are you feeling like, fuck, I gotta watch some porn? No. So. No, I don't think about it, but it, I think that, um, but I, this is going to sound crazy, but I try to use God. Wait, what? Because I, I believe that. And, to and, get off? No, I believe that <laughs> my drug addiction and alcoholic alcoholism is, you know, when you saw me when I was doing drugs, right? Yeah, yeah. And I was doing it what? Yeah, there's no, there's there's no reprieve, no mm -hmm. moderation with any of the things that he chooses okay. to engage. In. I cannot stop. So it, okay. if it's porn or if it's any other process, addiction, it's there's no sixty percent. It's a hundred fifty percent always. Right, and I can't stop. And just porn just happened to be one of them. It could have been something else. It could yeah. have been watching, you know, the you know the Great British Bake Off. For 24 right. hours of the day. Right. When weird things that can't be explained to me, right, happen, I, 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 I tend to lean more toward, you know what I mean, the cosmic than mm -hmm. you know I mean, the nothingness of it. Well, I mean, for sure, I'll do stupid things and then I'll, I'll be like, huh, thanks, Dad. You know, because my dad passed. Yeah. So it's like... Mm. I don't, I don't believe that he's up there looking down on me or anything, but it's a way of comforting me. Yeah. And like reminding myself that he'll always be a part of me still. Yeah. Right. Yeah. When did he pass? <sighs> it will be five years in June. Because my dad just did, right? No. Like, yeah, like s seven months ago. Mm -mm. Right. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I had no idea. Were you close to your dad? Yeah. 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 And now, because I'm now, I'm now getting to the point where it's like, you know, I used to think about him every single moment of every day, right? And now he pops up once a day, maybe, during a drive or whatever. Mm -hmm. And there is a sense of sadness, and I miss him, you know? Does that does that get better through time? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, like, probably the third year, I couldn't say what I just said without crying. Mm. Oh, I see. And even now, I... I can feel myself getting overwhelmed, but yes, the cliche is true. It does get better with time. And it's just because you get, it's not that the pain is gone. It's that you just get used to the pain. Were you in the room when it happened? Were no. Oh, uh, no. I mean, can, can, can we can talk about it or no? Um, Did you get a call? I mean, oh, it was really weird. Yeah. I got a call. Uh, I actually, I was camping. Oh shit. And I had, I don't know what I was, I was, I was on the middle of working, I was in the middle of working on a project or something, and so I'd brought my computer with me, and there was, like, one, um, I was real camping, not, like, glamping, right? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. There was only one place where you could get an internet signal, and it's the glamping place, where they have a restaurant and a cafe, and I went in there, I, I think I made a phone call. And then I almost left and I was like, I should check my email. Mm. I actually was in my car. I was driving back to the campsite. And then I went back inside and to check my email. And I go to check my email and I have a series of messages from my siblings on email. Like, call, it's an emergency call, it's an emergency. And I'm thinking it's something completely different than what it was. And um, I get to my phone my phone's not working somehow I still couldn't make like a call out so we I ended up having I even asked like the hotel can I use your phone they wouldn't let me use a phone so then I had to drive to another store to get quarters quarters into a fucking Whoa, pay phone wow. yeah and um and that's how I got the fucking news oh my god yeah. oh my so god. I like tore down my tent and sped home Wow! And that's how I found out. Yeah. Oh my God! And so, where, where, where was this campsite at? Um, Sequoia. Sequoia. Yeah. Wow. So a four-hour drive home. So you went to right to Sacramento? No, I I came. I was in a rental because I got like a SUV to go camping in. Yeah. So I drove home and the, drove to LA. I don't even remember. 
Oh, wow. I mean, I remember, but I'm trying yeah, to put yeah, the pieces together. Yeah, yeah, wow. I'm sorry for Drove to LA, and then I think I, I had to sleep at home that night, because by the time I got home, it was like 1 a.m., and then the next day, which I didn't sleep, just laid in bed, uh, then we were all together. Wow. Like I'm plan sorry. making the plan basically. And then I went, um, he wasn't living in Sacramento and then I went oh, wow. and, uh, and flew. Yeah. But it does get better is what you're it saying. It does. Yeah. Um, this is a comedy podcast. <laughs> Yeah, it's a real podcast. Yeah, yeah. That's what it is. But yeah, you got real. That's why. I mean, we. You know, I. I, I yeah. wanted to hear because it helps me. By hearing you, it helps me better understand. You know what I mean? That there's it gets better for me, right? Yeah. And that's why I'm asking. It's not because I want to bring up a bad feeling, you know, right? Right. Whatever. Right, right. I just it it does help me, you know, and that's why I. Ask. But yeah, the cliche is true. I mean, yeah. it changes you forever. Like I I lost people in my life before that. But nothing ever like this, ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, ever. It, I know, it's so shocking. That was the only time I ever got into an altercation with a cop. It was when um, my dad was, um, he was probably about a month away from passing at that point, um, but he had another like medical emergency and I was living in Vegas and uh, my dad was living in LA and I got a phone call from my mom saying like, you know, he coded and um, you should come quickly because I don't think they think he has much time. And my sister and I and a friend drove from Vegas to L.A. speeding. And we got pulled over and I was so emotional and so angry. Like I just it, it wasn't the cops fault. Blacked out. I blacked yeah. out and I raged out on him for keeping me or for pulling pulling us over. Yeah. And I had a meltdown on the side of the freeway and I I was I remember yelling at him oh, like if I God. don't make it there yeah. on time yeah. and I pointed at his badge I was like I will find you. I I <laughs> what? I, I, felt, <laughs> wow. I exploded on him. Liam yeah. Neeson over here. Whoa. But he was he was considerate and I will kill you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he, but he was considerate enough he saw how emotional I was. So he was yeah. like all right all right you know like he didn't even give us a ticket he's like I understand sorry you know. Wow. But I felt so much regret like blowing up on him like that but that how emotional I was. Well, yeah. That's that's a that's a shitty fucking drive to drive. Uh, like not knowing what's on the other side mm-hmm. of it or what news you're gonna hear when you finally get there, and you know, like there's no way to prepare your emotions in any mm-hmm. way at all. Wow. Yeah. So I'm sorry that yeah, happened. I'm so to you. sorry that happened. But um, we're here. <laughs> we're all in the same club. Yeah. We're on the Sounds same club. Like- <laughs> we're on the same club. <laughs> hey, we should start one. Dead Dad's Club. <laughs> 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 dead poets are yeah. dead dad's that's society. a good band name yeah dead dad's dead club. wait dead dad's club yeah that's a good podcast name yeah dead I dad's my, club I'm my group with my siblings bastards <laughs> <laughs> Bastard. do you have a podcast no I used to oh what was it called yeah. deep tissue oh that's deep a tissue. good one Ooh, yeah deep wow tissue. Deep tissue. I've always yeah. dreamed of you know I me mean, producing an all female one. Yeah, that's yeah. true. You know what I mean? You I producing? You, about- you mean you're you're stealing my dreams? <laughs> <laughs> and have you, you've never said you wanted to produce yeah. an all female one. So let's let's get. Past, I want to ask now. So we we got to get to the books. All right, okay. what are they? Uh, it's a trilogy. Yeah, yeah. It's called Juliet Society. Yes. And w- it, what is it about? It is about the first one begins with a young film student named Catherine, who develops a crush on her film history teacher. And befriends this girl that she, in class, that she idolizes, that sort of takes her under her wing and into a secret society. And then each book progresses and, over a time span. So, like, by book two, three, four years have progressed. And by book three, another three, four years have progressed. Wow. How long, I mean, how, how long does it one book take to write? The first one I wrote in just under a year. Wow. Because I had, because I had the deal. Oh, so yeah, I yeah, had yeah. to. Yeah. And then I'm cold now. And yeah, then the me, second two. Well, who has the air? Hand me the What the fuck has the jacket. air on? <laughs> um, Progressive. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Have the air on. Turn the air off. Thanks. Uh, then the second two I wrote over the span of like five, four years. Yeah. Simultaneously, something like that. Dude, because I don't read. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't read. <laughs> but I love I love um, audiobooks. Is there an audio oh, version of it? So the first one, yes, I did the audiobook. I did it. Myself. Did you really? And then the second two, they didn't, this pisses me off. They didn't tell me, and it's like in my contract that they're supposed to tell me who does it at least if yeah. they don't hire me to do it. And they hired somebody else for the second two, and 
It's not good. I heard. Com- I've had complaints. Let's say. Oh, oh yeah. no, that is, sucks. Is it Morgan Freeman? <laughs> that would at least be <laughs> kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Morgan Freeman. laughs> that would be amazing. That'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He does all of it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Not all audio books. No, but he does a lot of voiceover, like documentaries. Or, you know what? David Attenborough would be good. Oh, that would be awesome. Yeah. Oh, I love him. I would suck his dick. <laughs> yeah. I, no, I, 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 I would. I would. I would. I would. In you. in the sound yeah. booth, though. Yeah, in the sound booth. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh yeah. So we want to do a thing where, um, who has the uh, and be oh, <laughs> Sasha, be fucking honest. Out of everyone in the room, who has the it, biggest it, George face? is exempt because he he's, doesn't. Yeah. yeah, he's not Asian. Who has the biggest face? Who has the face? biggest uh, Asian face? face? Which way? It's all short faces. What? We'll Wide headphones off. You were great. Wide. 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 Fantastic Wide. film. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so let's be easy. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, she keeps looking at me. And John. <sighs> You're younger, so give it a few years. <laughs> <laughs> you might get there, though. <laughs> I don't care. I didn't get, I didn't, I didn't get chosen. Oh, this is hard. Why are you who, trying who, to suck your lips in like that? <laughs> Why is your stomach sucking? Why are you doing duck face? Oh, this is really hard. Are you choosing between John and Bobby? Yeah. Oh, it's a Korean. At least, hey. Filipinos. Filipinos. Small head Filipinos. Usually we have biggest face. <sighs> well, yours Just is a fucking... little. <laughs> yours is a little what? Keep going. You also have a facial hair, so it makes it more difficult. It's like cheating, right? Cheating. It is cheating. <laughs> I'm gonna have to say John. Yeah. Yeah. Yours is longer you though. You fucking melon head fucking mutants. <laughs> you <laughs> ugly fucker, you. Oh have shit. Have you tried measuring it? <laughs> I mean, well, all three there, of you. All three of you. Yeah, yeah. But I might be I might be up there with John though. No. Oh, oh yeah. Your hair, I want to see. Big ass head. S- small face. You have a small oh, no. face though. Big head, but small Let face. Let me see your head. Go, go uh, sideways. I, I have to wear men's hats. Okay. Oh, I can't even wear a hat, so that's good. Yeah. You have a good size head, but you don't have a big face. I can't really tell. <laughs> but you can, you can, <laughs> that's kind of scary, though. Going, <laughs> that's just some fucking grudge yeah, yeah, yeah. shit. Yeah. No. You know she could be sisters with Giovanna. Antoinette. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah a they little could bit. be sisters. I, yeah. I could see that. Yeah, a little, yeah, a little yeah, Latina. Yeah. Feel. Are you? But are you? There's no ethnicity mixed in with. You? <laughs> I mean, there's gotta be because there's gotta be some sort of ethnicity, like some big-headed ethnicity. <laughs> <laughs> big headed Asian. Wait, what are yeah, big headed? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm a European mutt, Greek. Oh, you're Greek. But Irish. do people think that you have some sort of thing? Or that you're uh, you could some be Asian? Asian too a little bit. When I was a kid, people thought. When I was real young, people thought I was Hawaiian. Ah. Uh, because Hawaiian was always like that ambiguous. We don't know. Mm, yeah. Right. That's what I always thought when I first saw you. Was you were half Asian? Yeah. I, I had it in my head for the longest time. Yeah. And then when I was a teenager. Mexican. Right. And now that I'm a vampire these days, <laughs> <laughs> I de- definitely get that less. <laughs> um, but I have to yeah. say, I mean, we're, we're not done because we have to do a, a, a unhelpful advice. Is is that I honestly, um, you know, I didn't know much about you. I know you dissed me at the party, but um, <laughs> Sasha. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna let that go from now on. What if I told you I was really nervous? Because I was a big fan of Mad TV too. No, oh, <laughs> reversal. Oh, yeah. 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 But from now on, though, would you consider the, us to be friends? Of course. Good. Well, yeah. I mean, like, look, you, I know it's our mutual friend who kept asking me to come on the podcast. Right. But I would have asked even if she hadn't. Well, you were always in our like list of people, right? Yeah. We just, you know, we don't know. I, I, he, you know, but anyway, uh, since we're yeah, since we're um, neighborly people, how much toilet paper do you have in your home, and would you give us some if we? Well, I just went to the store like a week ago mm-hmm. and stocked yeah. up, and I usually get two big cases, so I'm good for like two months. Yeah, oh, but wow. she's asking if we can have so a couple of. rolls. You need some, like right now. Hot Okay, good. We don't have any rolls. We're we're running low, but I bear. You guys have a bidet. I'm not afraid. She you have a bidet. Uh, I we have a bidet, but I use a go. Filipino tabo, which is uh, like a takeout cup. Filipinos bare hand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What do you mean? You take your regular hand. So okay, the amount of toilet paper we use is this. This is this is my tactic. <laughs> what kind I don't of bare hand my shit. But I bare hand my ass. So we because I don't have to wipe to completion. I take a little bit of toilet paper. I get <laughs> most of it out. And then you use a tabo and soap 
to wash out your butthole. Yeah. And or else my day cannot move continue. Like ha- you see me in public restrooms, I always have oh. a water bottle and then a little bit of soap. Yeah. Because my asshole has to be um, shiny. Have you noticed that by the toilet, there's a, that Axe um, body wash that's next to the toilet? Yeah, yeah. I've been trying to do my own system. With uh-huh. the soap? No, I do the bidet thing. With I shoot the fucking thing in my asshole. And you make a bubble bath for your for your asshole? Yeah, I do. <laughs> so I'll stick a little bit of toilet paper. I'll put the fucking, you know what I mean, the... Um, the body wash in my butthole. So your butthole foams. So it, so I spread and I and then I sp- take my cheeks and I spread them open so it gets inside the hole. Are you squatting? Yeah, I'm, no, I'm kind of like doing like this and spraying in it and it feels so good. It feels so clean. It feels so nice. Tickles. I don't feel a lot in my asshole at all. Maybe Ever? It's, maybe it's no, a coma. Like it's. I think so. I think <laughs> that yeah. 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 it when the water hits, like when the bidet hits the foam, oh, you feel yeah, it yeah. all. Yeah. And back there, it's sort of just yeah. Like, my asshole's not sensitive either, lady. Well, what let the me fuck put stuff about? up there then. No, baby, it's for poo <laughs> and dicks. <laughs> for poo and dicks only. You know what I mean? Did you ever do anal sex? Yes. Oh God, we we jumped off that boat. <laughs> I, 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 sorry, 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 my bad. I thought you said you knew me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, we do a thing at the end called unhelpful advice. So we have if someone email us. Some people ask like questions. They have problems, and we try to answer or not answer, or, or not answer. Or okay. we can do give them bad advice as well. Okay, unhelpful. Unhelpful advice with Bobby, Kalila, and Sasha Gray. All right, so we're gonna keep the theme. This whole episode has been about uh, a year ago. I was diagnosed with an inflammatory bowel disease. I'm now in remission, but I still have problems with diarrhea and bloody stool. The bathrooms at my work are very close to the workspace, and you can hear everything going on in there. So after going to the toilet for the first time at work a month ago, I decided I never wanted to go again. The sounds coming out of my butthole were so loud and weird that when I was done and got out, all my colleagues were staring at me, and they looked gross. Uh, They looked at me like I was gross. At lunch, a guy that I had a huge crush on was laughing with other people at at my work and how loud my farts were. Mm. Now, I haven't gone to the bathroom for a month, and my stomach is in pain for the whole day every day because I want to be I don't want to be known as the gross diarrhea girl my doctors haven't found anything that makes it better and no diet has helped should I let my loud diarrhea out and face the embarrassment and rejection or keep it in and suffer I think she means keep it in until she gets home yeah so she's not doing um, um she's mm. not doing shit breaks at work nope she holds it in and she's in pain oh isn't that's... holding it in worse yeah yeah, yeah. Really. you know for me um I, I, I have survival techniques when it comes to the toilets Tell Public toilet. How toilet. to muffle the sound? No, I do things like, you, you know, sometimes there's a handicapped toilet, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Well, right? Best one. You ever seen one it's of those? the best one. It's the best one, yeah. but um, when there's a handicapped guy waiting to use it. Which and you're never using, happened. It never happened happen. to me one time. No. Oh, yeah. Really? Oh. Yeah, I could oh. see his crutches like underneath the thing. <laughs> oh, right? So I no. felt like, oh my God, why am I in this one? <laughs> so when I flushed the toilet and I left. Did you limp out? <laughs> yeah. I, I did a thing. I go, it's, it's your turn, and I, and, oh I did a, and I did a thing, right? So I survive in public restrooms, and I oh even say, God. it's your turn. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, which was he's like, and he's probably like, I'm not retarded, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I just have funky legs. But my point is, is that, um, but also in if I have a loud situation, I work with the environment. I, I would put on your cell phone maybe some sort of ambient music. Not ambient. You know, like maybe yeah, maybe Metallica. industrial, yeah. industrial, yeah, uh, like, doo, 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 yeah. Doo, doo, doo. And um, so whenever you have the Rihanna <laughs> callback, <laughs> callback, uh, you know, you probably would do that, or um, you know what, you it, it also could be something that you could be um very clear about with your coworkers and tell people, go listen, I have this. This is real advice. Um, I have this um. St- stomach issue, you know what I mean? That's a medical problem. And I have, you know, loose stool and it makes noises. I, I just feel embarrassed, you know? And so. Could you not tell the boys about it? Not my, at least not my crush. No, oh, no. Yeah, that's what I, I would say. No, I would say. And so when I'm in the bathroom, can, not, can people. Can I have a special sign that goes up? Not to go in. <laughs> like, doesn't that bring uh, more attention? Yeah, yeah, just have a photo of Rihanna. Shit alert! You know I mean? Shit alert! Is there not a way another floor? What is this office situation like? Yeah, like uh, or a McDonald's sounds, across the street. I don't know. It's all very close, apparently. Yeah, yeah. I would own it. Yeah, I would own it too. I would too. say, hey, you know what? Like, this is just who cares? Yeah, who cares? Yep. This is what this is the situation at hand. 
My farts are louder than yours. Everyone does it. Yeah. And um, what I do when I'm particularly um, shy that day is I just keep flushing and pushing when I flush. Oh, that's smart. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's so smart. you're not conserving water. Okay. <laughs> no, but, <laughs> but I'm conserving right my shit. Bad for the environment. Yeah, okay, but good. Shits. I do my, so it's my maximum is three flushes Yeah. before I get conscious about the environment Bobby <laughs> and um, yeah, I try yeah. to just maximum push each one which is not really a good thing if you have IBS because you shouldn't be pushing that hard you should just let it out as it comes yeah um, could you vocally muffle just sing the real shit? loud no just go Ugh! or something you know what I mean that's yeah. what I do yeah but the one thing I will tell her, <laughs> the advice, my advice is definitely do not hold it in like that because it's making you yeah. sicker and uncomfortable and miserable. Oh, I would fuck it. I would not hold also, it. Also, like it. CBD. Oh, what do you mean? C- that? CBD doesn't do shit. Um, what does it do? I don't know about that. You think CBD works? On, par- I think on parts? On <laughs> <laughs> Scientist? On inflammation. Oh. That's true. Uh, all right. Okay. Don't get angry. So I don't know what. <laughs> it does with the yeah. fuck. Yeah, I don't know. It does. <laughs> Do you smoke a lot of weed, Sasha? No. Ever? No. You drink? Yes. You, a lot? No. Okay. That's Good question. Yeah, I just want to know. I'm trying to get her history. Yeah. Just no, I used to Where smoke a lot. Where were you on the night of? <laughs> no, I, if Not she's going to be a days. friend of mine, yeah. I, I really want to establish a real friendship with her. Yeah. I have to know all the nooks and crannies of what she is. she's all about. I don't want to be friends with a drug addict. Oh, that is true. That's true. Okay. Yeah. Well, let me say something. Um, I, I have a clear um, idea of who you are as a person. And I have to. I, if <laughs> Over I'm, an hour? Am I? You? Yeah, yeah, I do. Can I, you I'm, give me the stamp? And am I approved? Am I not approved? I'm going to give everyone their, their <laughs> ranking as a person. <laughs> Wait, what? what? In the room. Happened. Yeah, yeah. Not, Banned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no ranking systems. Yeah. As a human being, <laughs> and I'm talking about <laughs> morality, ethics, what you look like, how you dress. <laughs> And everything, everything's gonna like count, right? So sure. here we go. And we're gonna, I want to end like this, okay? Okay. And this is truly, and I, I, I'm saying this based on if, um, you know, there was a zombie apocalypse, and I and I, I had to live with, a survive with a group of people that I could trust and that could do the job, right? Build the fence, also not steal things and be honorable, but also in a zombie apocalypse, I want you to look good as well. You know what I mean? I know there's things that are like, you know, more important, I guess, like nutrition and <laughs> and sleep and your safety. But I want you to look good as well. So um, I'm going to have to rank everyone from one through ten in terms of the, those things that I just said. OK, mm-hmm. so um, with George, I would have to give you a. Um, it's waiting for it. A nine. Oh, my God. Out of ten. I'll tell you why, because your fashion would be t- terrible and I would have to look at you, but I, I would be like. I don't want to look at that, that guy, but um, but what I want to say in terms of like you would get shit done, and like what I, I would done? tell you to do things and you would do it. Oh, okay. You know what I mean you would do it? You know, right? You, right? I'll give you a seven, okay? Because I think that you wander lust a little bit. <laughs> I do. I think that you daydream. I think that you're confused, right? I think that I I think I would. I think you would steal some rations, and if oh. I confronted you, you'd be like, "Yeah, I did it." Why? Because I have two kids, and I did it. You would admit, right? But and I think that you would try to smoke things that you shouldn't smoke. I'm like, that's not weed, that's, dude. That's, that's fucking. That's shit. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's shit. shit. You know what I mean? From the room You're like, I know, floor. but I miss the days where I used to smoke weed all the time, right? So I'll give you a seven. Sweetie, I'd give you a nine as well. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, because I think that you would um, fish be. Not only that, but you would be very difficult for me. What? You'd complain a lot, and you'd be oh. analytical about things. And you'd, I'm the yeah. complainer in this. Yeah, but like you would, you would, you would say things. I would have to say in that environment, I'll write myself. I would say I was a four. No, you have rhino hide for skin. You're very hard to penetrate with an axe. Whoa. Mm-hmm. So he he has very thick, like you know how um seal have this extra layer of blubber? Mm-hmm. How do you know? He's a, he's a good singer. <laughs> he really Is that that's the face thing that he has? <laughs> there, thank you, Gabby. Da, 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 Gabby, I'm going to give you... Da, da. Gabby, I'm going to give Keep in mind, you. this is my desktop for the past year. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep that in mind. Right. That's been my desktop. I'm going to have to give you, uh, Gilbert, um, your ego. Yeah. 
What about there, the there, I think there's a competitiveness with you, and there's an ego. Iron you sharpens have, iron, absolutely. Right, that there's an ego. You say iron sharpens iron. Yeah, because I've yeah, iron ego. sharpens my, iron. My ego makes right. his ego better. <laughs> I would have to give you um, a seven. Your ego, your what, ego would get in the way. Take away the ego. You have to take away the ego in a zombie apocalypse. And what would it be? It's stuff like I, I can already tell. It's like, dude, what the fuck? The fe- the, you, you, you can't. You have to fish the fence. He, yeah, and, and, and like, he, yeah he, Bobby, he, the fence is open. There's zombies coming in. And then you, no, you would be like, dude, I, you know, you have hands too. <laughs> you would say that to me. I know that. You think I would oh say that? God. Yeah, yeah. And you're, you'd probably, it, it's six months in. It's like, dude, why are you the leader? <laughs> you're the worst. So you would stage a coup. He would stage yeah. a coup. I would only stage a coup for yeah, yeah, yeah. my queen. Who's your queen? <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, oh, you're a four because now. Because you know what? <laughs> oh. You're a four now. I'll give you a ten. Yeah. Thank you. I'll stage a coup for you. Sasha, yeah. I would have to, based on my knowledge of you and all the things, I would have to give you a nine as well. Mm. You're too kind. N- you right? Because you seem like you would have his energy, <laughs> right? But your energy, the way you your talk and your chillness, right, is a calmness. His is just a stupidity <laughs> and a dumbness oh my and a confused. God. He's just confused. confused. Yours is more <laughs> analytical, right? And and thinking things through and being like, I honestly think in in like, if John was like being gnarled, right? And you you know the, the fence that he didn't build, he, he, he John gets pulled out of there, right? And I'm like knocking, you know, trying to get in it, and that you would be, and it would be lost, John. <laughs> and, and you'd be, and, yeah, and, and you would be like more like it's okay. You just gotta figure it out. We I have all the toilet paper. Here's the- <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to the store yeah. already. I'm a, a week yep. ago. Yeah, I got yep. all the toilet paper. That's true. And I think that you would be um, <laughs> very analytical. I think you two would be good together. Mm-hmm. Yep. Right. Um, I think I would have to give you eventually the mantle. I would uh, probably one day six months. Yeah, and I'd probably be like, but I'm the one bringing in the meat. It doesn't matter, you're a woman. I'm the hunter. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, I'm That's the Tiger Belly Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, I mean, either one. I would go, you know, you're, you guys are both running it. Mm. He will never have it. I, I don't need it. Yeah. You won't get it. It's okay. Club. Well, I have my own village. Yeah, for you. he's. You're, you're a he fucking only betrayed. Could you gave me a, the same one as the dumb guy. <laughs> 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 That's an insult. <laughs> I know, but the retard can't be like you could have said seven point five, eight. I know, I know. Seven point five. You're, John, are you offended? No, no, no. See, that's why. That's why I can say whatever to this guy. He'll just he giggle it off. Accepts it. Yeah, but how about a nice round of applause for Sasha Gray, everybody? Thank huh? you. It was a great job. Great job. Hey guys, thanks for listening to episode 238 with the one and only Sasha Gray. Hope you enjoyed it. I want to give a shout out to our sponsors, ShipStation, Brooklyn, and BetterHelp and MyBookie. For all your online shopping needs, try ShipStation free for 60 days and use the offer code BELLY at ShipStation.com. Get 10% off your first order and free shipping when you use the promo code TIGER only at Brooklyn.com. That's B-R-O-O-K-L-I-N-E-N.com. Promo code TIGER. Join over 500,000 people taking charge of their mental health by visiting BetterHelp.com slash BELLY today. Visit mybookie.ag and use the promo code BELLY for a 50% deposit bonus. And like today, how we asked a question uh, for unhelpful advice, you can too as well. Send your question at adviceunhelpful at gmail.com. We're looking for interesting, unusual, not typical problems, and we need your help as much as you want ours. Once again, that is adviceunhelpful at gmail.com. And like every week we've been doing this is we have a meme contest. So if you are listening and you made it all the way to the housekeeping, um, make a meme. Uh, and hashtag the meme Tiger Belly on Instagram or on Twitter. Uh, and then we will choose a winner. The winner gets a little gift bag uh, from us. So we've been, people have been making amazing stuff online. So do the contest. Make a meme of episode 238 with Sasha Gray. Find a moment here and make us laugh and you can win too. So for all information, Bobby Lee, go to Bobby Lee Live. For everything Kalali, go to Calamity K. For everything George, George underscore Kimmel. Uh, I believe everything John is at, at John Na, the winner of the Big Face Contest, and myself at Kill Bits. Uh, we love you guys very much. Uh, leave some comments. Uh, hit us up on iTunes. Give us five stars. Leave a comment. And um, we love you guys. Have a good one. Also, shout out to Cam.